Hamas's military wing, unseen throughout the conflict, down in tunnels firing rockets, has emerged from hiding to show it has not been destroyed. As the militants paraded through the streets, Gazans looked on with overwhelming support. Hamas is seeing a wave of popularity after this latest round of violence, presenting itself as the sole defenders of the Palestinian people, the only ones willing and able to stand up to Israel. Israel wanted to set back Hamas's military capacity and did. But Israel also hoped the airstrikes would turn people in Gaza against Hamas. That didn't happen. In Israel, many wanted the airstrikes to continue. I'm against the ceasefire with Gaza. I think we should continue the fighting. In Gaza, they see it very differently. Gaza is completely cut off. Israel doesn't allow the two million Palestinians here to leave. And there were no shelters to run to while Gaza was under attack. It felt like a living hell. A few blocks from their homes, I met Karma Hayal and Selma Abu Shaban, both law students and best friends. We spoke in the remains of a popular coffee shop in a hotel. What about the rockets? When the rockets were launched from here, did that make you happy or were you, were you against that? It's just the feeling that there is someone who is defending you. We're fighting for our freedom. Yeah, and that's the only way. Us from Gaza, we can literally do nothing uh, to defend ourselves. The rockets fired at Israeli cities killed at least 12 Israeli civilians. Around 250 Palestinians were killed in the airstrikes fired in response. President Biden says he supports a two-state solution, one for Israelis, the other for Palestinians. But that seems far off. For now, there's only a ceasefire, and it's a fragile foundation to build on. An Egyptian delegation has met with both Palestinians and Israelis to try to build on this ceasefire. But so far, we're hearing they have not produced any results. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.